So I've taken this point here, which I'm going to thread into the ID. Resist the urge to pull the slack through because I want to be in that position in a moment. And I start to Velcro up my rope protectors. Going over the edge. Sometimes you need a hand ascender. There we go. And then we can start to Velcro them up. Slime back up down. Keeping these adjusted. Lovely. Then I might abseil a little bit. Do them up a bit more. Sweet. Ready to go. We're going to just attach it to our working line and backup line, one on each rope. So I'm going to open it up, thread it through, and then keeping it open, just put it through again. And then pull it tight. And then I want to position that so that it's going to be in between this abrasive edge. Velcro that up. So that's my working line, one half done. I'll do my backup line, and then I'll probably have to abseil a bit, velcro it up a bit more, make sure it can't move, keep velcroing them up. If we're going back up, we'll just reverse the process. I'll be climbing up, keep on velcroing until I get to the top, and then you're above the edge, remove the rope protector, and then if you need to put it on below you. So if I'm climbing back up, climb back up to my edge in ascent, but then I'm going to change into descent for the climb over. So there's no risk of damaging the crawl in the event that we slip a little bit. Get your back up fairly high. Close to the edge and then last minute we'll just raise our back up up and then climb up. So heading through a rebelay. This is the foolproof way. So first thing we're gonna do, change into descent. And I'm gonna get my new ropes. Make sure I don't get tangled. One into my chest. Extra back up on if you want it. The tangle, and we're just going to transfer across. Uh, then we're going to move our back up across. Quick detangle. Take the spare one off. Head up. So heading down, I want to stop level with the knots. And then, again, don't get in a tangle, come into your chest. Pull some of the slack through. Spare back up on. And then we're gonna transfer across, just making sure you don't go too low. Descender off, and we're keeping going down. So, descender back on. Original ASAP off.
change back into descent. Foot loop away. Sweet. Nice and clear. Head down. Horizontal aid with movable anchors. Uh, long cows tail into the far one. Feet in and then short cows tail up. Sit down, get yourself sorted. Three points back up off. Crawl off, can either do that before or then. And then we're just going to slide along until we get to an obstruction. Then we move the first one past. Leave a bit of room. And then I'm going to move my middle one into this one. Your gate up. And then we just bunny hop this one past. And then I can move my long one into that one. Bit of movement. This one along. Detangle as we go. I'm keeping that sequence then. Short one. That close to ropes, I'll start removing them. And we go ID first. Pull it nice and tight. Put my back upon. I take my short cow's tail off. I start to remove the long ones. One. Check the clear. Good to head down. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So, fixed point aid climbing, climb up, get as high as you can, and then we're going. If you're going a long way, you might take your hand sender off. On in there. And then cow's tail and foot loop, all as one, into the other one, making sure not to trap these ropes, take my back up off. And then just make sure that your short cow tail comes up the right side of the ropes. And then we're going to take our chest out. Make sure we're free. Bit tangled, I'll sort that out in a minute. So leading cow's tail. Back up cow's tail. So three points. Detangle, two points, and feet in. Get your knees to the inside, screw gates. Screw gates, so two, three, two, Back to two, leading cow's tail, following cow's tail, three, two, and if we're going down, descender on first, and you want all the slack out of this. I'm going to go back up on. Put that 
off, put it away. Short one off. And then leading cow's tail off last. Put it away. Sweet, and we are ready to go down. Rope to rope transfer, first thing we do is change into descent. Once I'm in descent, I'm going to pull up the ropes that I'm going to transfer to. Try and detangle them. Put the first one into your chest ascender so you don't drop it. A little bit of slack through. And then the second one, I can either attach a knot, put a tie an alpine in it, or use a second back up. And move my hand descender across as well. And start to pull the slack through. Keeping your back up high, once you're happy at the height, you can start to descend. So four points all the way across. I'm going to go up a bit. Quite a big one this. Keep transferring. First thing I am going to take off is my descender. That shows me we have gone all the way across. Then I'm going to remove my back up. Have a detangle. Free up the ropes. Move my first back up, well you can leave it on. And then if we're going down, we'll just change over and go down again. So passing knots, get nice and close to the knot. Back up, up as high as you can. Then I'm gonna change into descent. Just to send her off. Nice and close if you need to. And then one big movement, attach your crawl back in. Once I've done that, I'm going to remove my descender. I'm going to do my back up. Keep going up. On the way down, head down until you abseil completely onto the knot. And then I need to go back into ascent. Get yourself set, open your crawl. So now I can have two hands to remove my descender. We're going to thread the knot to the teeth. Close it up, pull it tight. I might want to do a little down jug just to get close to the knot so I don't leave my hand ascender behind. Now, depending on the heights, I might need to put, take my back up below so it doesn't go tight. This will always be different depending on which, on just on the height of the knot. Move that below, stand up, take the chest off. Still reach that, put that away. 
take off my mobile duck. Okay. Now we can head down. Casualty in descent. I'm going to abseil down until my descender is level with his fall arrest point. I'm going to clip a carabiner into his chest. And then I'm going to join it to the carabiner on my descender. And then I'm going to put a second point in as well. Doesn't really matter whether you put the second point in first or afterwards. That goes to his chest. So he's upright. So all I need to do with him now is lower him down and he'll invert. So remove his descender and then a bit of casualty care. I know he's, I know it's only a dummy, but get him the right way round. Make sure your ropes are still running free. And then friction carabiner in. Make sure your ASAP is running, make sure his ASAP is running if you're going to leave it on. And then a little, little test, just nice and steady, bringing him down. Double deviations then, very simple. My two points have been deviating my ropes away from that hazard. But now we are above the hazard, there is no risk. All I need to do is remove one of the points and place these in like so. And then remove the other one and place it in like that. And as you do that, just lower yourself out. If you want to put a point in, fine. It's not necessary. And then keep climbing up. On the way down, I'm going to abseil until my head is level with the double deviation or single deviation. And then the point of this is to protect my ropes away from that hazard in a minute. But at the minute, I am in no danger. So all I need to do is remove one of the points, clip it above everything. I'm still in no danger because I'm above the hazard. I'll take the other one off, clip it back on. So in a minute, when we get to the hazards, our ropes are deviated away with two points. Quick recap on the rigging. Figure of eight or figure of nine. Make that nice hole. Make sure your tail's long enough. Make sure there's no twists in it, it's dressed right. Clip that into one anchor. Do your screw gate up. And then the Y hang's coming out. Cross it. Or however you've been taught to do it. Through there, don't lose the shape of the knot. Clip that one in. Adjust. Screw gates. If you want to do it the bunny way, we start with a figure of eight. And then I am pulling the tails through the figure of eight. In the last minute, take the loop over the top and then sit it so it pulls the knot tight, dress it up. And then we clip one ear into one anchor, one ear into the other, do your gates up. Make sure it's all dressed and repeat with the next set of ropes. And last one is your stopper knot or scaff knot in the end. So I'm going just take a bite, cross, and then as you go round it, come back up through. 